Oh, I always stretch every stream. Got to got to get that big stretch in. Mainly because I'm going to be sitting for a while, so you know. First after the stream started, Dane, what's up, buddy? I think Etop Sir HC was first, but that's because he was on my Discord, and I announced on the Discord like right before I start streaming, so he jumped in on the the link. What's up, everybody? Hello. There's a YouTube. Like someone with just the name YouTube. Really? Is that? I didn't think you could have a name just YouTube, but apparently you can. What's up, Isaac Daniel? It's it's a uh, Pertron. I, I don't know. Spooter Scrub. What's up, Brand? Oh, I can't. You guys, the chat moves so quickly. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to read. Slimy Pro, Flamer Gamer, Calum. Lane, Hot, uh, Kevin, the crazy, amazing Gage, uh, Jake, I'm from Discord, oh my god, you guys, it's so fast, the Master Minecart, um, Roger Banks, I'm literally just trying to, like, find whatever names, it moves so quick, I can't even keep up, Connor, Crazy, Landon, Roger, Hot Doge, Hot Doge, right on, Hydra Flipper, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a speed reader. I, I don't know what you want me to do here, guys. Yeah, that's pretty quick. But anyways, um, welcome. Welcome to another stream, another Friday. Uh, please respond to your boy, Tomcat. What's up, your boy? Upgrade the flying potato, pretty much. So I, like I said last stream, I was working on the big flying potato uh, cargo plane, and uh, I spent a lot of time in the week actually working on it as well at night and uh, I've been very very busy so you have you probably have noticed there hasn't been as many videos as there usually is um, I am in my last two weeks of work so I have two weeks left of my current job which is where I'm a programmer uh, and then once my current job's done in two weeks then I am completely 100% full-time YouTube and uh, you'll expect daily videos which will be great so I'll have time to do daily videos which is gonna be awesome and uh, I'm going to have a lot more time to, uh, you know, stay involved with the community a little bit more, stay more involved with Discord, and all sorts of stuff like that. Plus, I'm going to do more streams on a weekly basis, so I want to try and go to two streams, and I want to try and change up the times a little bit of the streams, so I'm going to have streams that are, like, good for the European guys and good for, for you know, the non-American guys too, right? Or the American guys, I mean. So that's the plan. That are, like, good. So... Just checking my audio. But anyway, so that's the plan. I want to I want to do more streams than just what I've been doing, obviously. And uh, I want to do daily videos. But right now, with my current work schedule, um, I'm really busy at work. And so I've been really tired coming home. And it's been difficult to try and keep up with all the videos and that sort of thing. But I promise better times are coming. So anyways, you guys are all probably very anxious to see the cargo plane. Uh, I did do a lot of work on it during the week, like I said. So this is where we're at. So at the end of the stream, I pretty much just had a flying potato. Uh, which was just this and then uh, I spent some time so oh yeah those the the engines can't turn off right so I put four prop engines on it they're all just identical um, so I did that I haven't really painted much yet of anything and uh, I put some landing gear on it as well so we've got like two sets of three in the back here and uh, I'm actually really I'm really happy with the way this all turned out so far and then we've got this big cargo door in the back so we can come up in here for now, we'll just have that wired into a simple switch. I'm eventually going to change that, have it into some logic and system type stuff. But you can see there, it seals. And look at this. Look at how good this seal is. I'm so happy with how that turned out. Like, it's almost, it's almost like perfect. It doesn't even, you can't even see a gap or anything. So that's, that's cool. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the front door here. Which is just right by the prop blade. Which is, actually, usually they aren't right at the prop blade. Usually they're a little bit ahead of it or behind it. I think usually a little bit ahead. Uh, and the reason why is right at the plop, blah, blah, right at the prop on a prop plane, you have a big piece of steel, which prevents anything that hits the blade that gets flung into the fuselage from wrecking the fuselage. But uh, yeah, I might, I might move this this door forward. No, let's move that door forward, shall we? I don't, I don't like it being here. It's too, it's too um, unrealistic. So we'll just, we'll move this, and uh, we'll go to like here. So it's like right in front there. Okay, and then we'll get some stuff because I need some stuff. I should be able to actually just re-weld that, no problem. So we'll do that real quick here. Uh, da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. If you're new to the stream, welcome to the stream. I always like all the newcomers. It's great. Really, it is kind of awesome to me, to be honest, that uh, I started this channel... Um, you know, a little less than two years ago, and uh, now I'm quitting my full-time job, which is kind of cool. 
because you know I honestly didn't know if we'd ever uh, we'd ever get to the point where I could quit my job and uh, try and make a living off YouTube. But it's quite great to be honest. I'm I'm really excited for it and I'm excited for the future, and uh, I can't wait to see what else the future is going to bring. All right, so we're gonna just weld this. I need to put this whole thing on a lift. Yeah, I do. Okay. So surprisingly, it's not that laggy yet. Um, you can see there on the lift, the landing gear do stay deployed. And there's a reason why. I want to show you the landing gear after this. But I just want to I want to fix this door first because it's going to bother me if I don't. Um, I don't know how we're going to get in there. Actually, I don't need to. I can just do this. That's a good point. So let's do that. And uh, this section here should attach to there. I mean, I could just rebuild the door. That would be just as easy, but... All right, perfect. There we go. So now we've got a door again, and then we'll just put this on a controller. And uh, I should move the cargo controller into the underbelly of the plane so it's not in here. So I'll do that as well after this, but uh, let's just put this guy underneath. So we've got lots of space underneath here, which is good. So the whole underbelly is available for stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe put some thrusters in there or something. Um, but yeah, not exactly sure. But anyway, so this goes like this, and uh, I think... I think I want to have this, I think it goes down to like 120 and comes back up 120. I'm like pretty sure it doesn't even, what am I getting, what is it getting jammed on? What? Oh, ha! yeah, that would, that would help. All right. Yeah. So that's good. 120 there. And then we'll just put a really simple switch on it for now. Just like this. Okay. It's perfect, right? Then we got a nice cargo door and now it's not, you know, right in the way of the prop. It's right in front of it. So that's good. It's the flying potato. Yeah, this is this is pretty... Is the shark a new update to the game? So the shark block is... This shark, if, if this is what you're talking about. This one is a new update to the game. Yes, that, that block is 100%. They added that in when they announced that they were publishing Raft, which is kind of cool. Um, so we've got that, which is good. So we'll fix that door. I'll move that other one down below. But anyways, we've got some landing gear and stuff down below. Uh, I put two A and D converters up in the front here. I'm eventually going to seal off this section underneath here. Because uh, I want to put a gyroscope in here um, for, for, you know, automatic stabilization and stuff like that. But we've got the cockpit up here. You know, standard stuff. I did this during the stream. And you can see there, if we hold A and D, it'll it'll rotate that front set of landing gear as well. So they use a they use a double bearing system with controllers. So you can do it with both the pilot and co-pilot. Like all my planes that I've been making now, uh, this is going to have the dual controls. So either seat will do the same thing. And then we've got a switch here for the landing gear. But let's go down and check out the landing gear. So I was trying to build the landing gear for this plane. And one of the biggest problems with the landing gear is that the plane is too flippin' heavy. So this plane is ridiculously heavy. Like, it's stupid. Even though it's made out of wood, it's heavy. And I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, why can I not make... Like, I had eight pistons, like, all stacked on each other. And I was doing, like, you know, pistons all together, like, ten at a time. And it was just causing so much lag. And I'm like, this doesn't want to work. I couldn't get the plane to lift itself up on the landing gear. And then I came to a realization, which is... There isn't a single plane in the world, really, that does that. Like, planes don't have landing gear that you can deploy when the plane's on the ground. The plane has to be in the air for the landing gear to deploy. The landing gear aren't strong enough to pick up the plane. So I did it the same way a normal landing gear would work, except a little bit simpler. So the landing gear starts deployed, you can see here, on these two controllers. And this piston, this single piston, just has this little sort of lock bar that prevents the landing gear from collapsing. It keeps them locked in the vertical position. And this bar underneath here, this wooden bar that's just fixed to the plane, that prevents it from sliding up on these bearings. So that it basically just holds the whole weight of the plane. And then at the back, if we sneak along here, at the back, it's the same thing. So we've got two, they deploy from the sides. So they flip from like up in here. And I didn't bother putting covers on the cavities because like you don't really need it. And it's just caused extra lag. But the two there, they'll flip up as well. Um, I can't, I can't get back in there. Right. So they'll flip up in sideways, and basically, you have to deploy the landing gear on this plane uh, when it's when it's up in the air. So if we retract it, which is this button here, you can see the locks retract, and the landing gear fold in. And these ones at the back, they, they probably won't be able to fold in. Yeah, because see, the weight of the plane is too much. So if we put, if we put this up like this, there you go. You can see they snap into there. And boom, that's our, you know, now our plane would have all its gear deployed. But now if we try and deploy it again, I'll show you, it, it, there's no way it'll, actually I should leave this under here because we're going to need to prop it up again. 
So we should be able to go up into the cockpit, actually. I believe I've got that. Yeah, that control is hooked up as well. So let's go back up in here. And let's just lift up the back of the plane again. Oh, maybe I don't have that control hooked up. I, I don't, apparently. So we can go back in here and let's just click this again. And uh, see, the front one doesn't want to go. The back one's went already. If I can get out here, this is this is ridiculous. So it's it's basically kind of like a real sort of plane, almost. So basically, it doesn't have the weight, but now once these back landing gear are deployed, you see, I can, I can literally just snap this and, you know, they've got no issues, right? supporting the weight of the plane same sense that's why when you spawn this see like i can lift the whole plane up right and then i can drop it and it gets a little bit of lag but that piston you can see it forced that landing gear back into position so it's not like perfect but that's why you'll see the the plane starts with its landing gear deployed when it's on the lift right and then you can just drop that okay so we need a few things so let's move this back controller here so, yeah, of course this would be complicated. Okay, um, I want to write down what those measurements are. 25 to 65 on the first four, and then 15 on the second four. So 25 to 60, 25, 65, 15, 25, 65, 15. So let's just go into the undercarriage here. You know, let's just cut a hole here, because... Okay, so... First four are 25.65. And then 15 on the second four. By the way, guys, Hawk, my mod, is in the chat. Everybody say hello to Hawk. Give him the old at Hawk. I think it's like, what, 1291 or something? I don't remember. He's got some numbers on the end of there. But give him the old at Hawk. Let him know you guys support good old Mr. Hawk. Really cool dude. He's pretty cool. Lives in Texas. But he didn't get killed by the hurricane, which is good. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool dude. You can go watch Komodo. Well, now I'm insulted. Now I, I just, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, 25. 25. And 25. And I think these were 65, right? 25, 65, 15. Alright, something like that. What time is it? So the time for me, I, I live in Eastern time, which is like in Canada. So, or in, I guess it's in America too. Yeah, there, but I live in, uh, I live in Eastern time. So close to Toronto, Canada. So uh, for me, it's like 6.30ish. All right, can, can I? Oh, that's clearly the wrong way. Okay, so that's deployed. So let's just put a little switch here for now, just to see what happens. That's pretty good. And I think I had that slower because it was a, a little bit aggressive. So the cool thing about this plane, this is what I'm really excited about. Yeah, it's much better looking. All right. So the cool thing about this plane is it's massive, but I can fit these uh, these Humvees in it. No problem. Did I actually just jump into the right seat? Amazing. I thought I jumped in the wrong seat. Okay, so let's just uh, get up in here. And it actually doesn't lag too bad. I mean, it lags a little bit, but it's not really... Like, I mean, it's not terrible. There we go. We can fit the whole Humvee in. I mean, we could fit, like... If, if we fit more than one, it'll start to lag. So we could fit... I mean, that's one. We could fit at least two more. I mean, I'm gonna... Let's let's spawn another one, but I guarantee you it's gonna it's gonna start to lag like crazy. It's, it's already pretty bad now. Down to about 30 FPS, 20 FPS. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna become a problem. Alright, is this gonna... Yeah, so it's about 12 FPS there. So, again, um, not exactly... Not exactly good at, uh, you know, handling multiple vehicles. But again, if the game gets better, who knows, maybe one day. But at least it can handle one vehicle, which is cool. So, my girlfriend's dropping everything, apparently, in the background. Alright, let's get out of here. Sweet. Okay, so that's lag free. Okay, so now we have to make the stupid thing fly. Um, so yeah, it's got a it's got a big tail wing on it. It's been way too long on all that stuff. 
I've always wanted to make a really big cargo plane, and, uh, yeah. And make the nose open would be insane. To have the nose open and a ramp come out, that would take so much extra, um, rebuilding. Like, it's, it's, plus, it's too much lag. That's the problem. Held the cars up on pistons. I mean, maybe. But I think the issue is that even with the little piston has no collision, um, once the end block on the piston is attached to the car that's what's going to cause it. i mean realistically your best bet probably and we'll try this after we get it flying but maybe once it's flying it'll be a little bit better because you remove the ground as one of the collisions so that's the first thing second thing you could do is weld the cars in while you're you know flying around or whatever right but uh, anyways i think what we're gonna do so we're gonna put a gyro here i don't know if i want to do that first or last i kind of want to do that last i first want to get this stupid thing flying so let's Let's do some controls here real quick. So that... Okay, we're gonna need this hooked up. The underbody's sweet. I'm so happy with this underbody because you have tons of room to, you know, build stuff and have room for activities. So this is the control for... That's for the landing gear. This one will be for the back ramp. And uh, actually, that'll be for the door. And this will be for the back ramp. So we'll do that. So that'll be for the... Oh, that's right. I need to get rid of that. Okay. Nope. Stupid thing. Okay. So that'll be for the door. And this will be for the back ramp. Oh, oh crud. I'm going to have to delete that first. Okay. And then this back ramp. We're going to set this up with buttons. Give me two seconds. I gotta, I gotta check something real quick. I mean, that's your other option, right? I don't know what else to do. Sorry about that. I'm not, I'm not dead, I promise. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so, uh, yeah. No, I have an issue with a cat that wants to, that keeps wanting to poop in front of the bedroom fan. It's, it's really quite awesome. So, all of a sudden, the entire apartment starts smelling like cat poop. And, uh, it's because, it's because the cat decides that pooping in front of the, the fan is the best thing to do for some reason. So, that's, that's what I've been dealing with for some reason. It's just been, it's just been great. It's been such a lovely experience. So yeah, anyways, that's my uh, my story of the day. Um, yeah, cat's been pooping everywhere. So I'm gonna do these with uh, you know single push button memory stuff because why not? So just need a couple of nor gates here. So nor gate, no, nor gate, nor, nor gate. There we go. Okay, so four of these, and then if I can get over here, yeah. So basically, yeah, rip my cat. Basically, right. So my cat, my cat just decides that uh, it wants to poop in front of the fan, and we originally thought it was an anxiety thing because it she was. Well, yeah, it was an anxiety thing, and now, yeah, now she just does it because she can. So it's just, it's just great. Well, I don't know what else to do. Anyways, let's not talk about cat poop anymore, because you know I'm, I don't want to talk about cat poop anymore. 
Okay, well, that's great, but... Alright, so that needs to reset. That needs to reset that. And, um, that needs to reset that one. Right, so if we can hit, hit red, right, red, green. That's two button system. And then, uh, we can have a button up there as well. And we'll do the same thing here. Okay, so then this one, same deal. Um, well, that needs to be hooked up first. All right, but red will close this one like this, and that can connect to the green button. Like, actually, you know what? Let's drag this one out. This connects back to there. And that goes there, right? So now we should be able to do the same thing. And green. And red. Right. So red will close it. Green will open it. Perfect. Use some push button stuff. Problem solved. Can you make red green lights come on when the correct button is activated to open the rear door? Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, where do they put those lights, though? They're, like, right next to the door, aren't they? Like, they'd be, like, built into here or something. Like this. Hey, Jade. What? Why don't you just not let them in the bedroom during the day? Like the then move that. Put it somewhere else. Well, she's not gonna poop in there at night. She didn't go in there during the day. She literally went in there in the past, like, 20 minutes. Alright. Alright, well. This one... So if it's open, it's green, right? So that activates red. And this activates the other red. Make a transformer. And then this activates... I can't tell which one's on. Back one, right? Yeah, back one. There, so green, red, green, red, right? Pretty simple stuff. This one I'll leave as is. Okay, and now we need to make... Okay, first of all, I need to turn these stupid engines off. This is ridiculous. So let's just hook all of them into an OR gate. Actually, we're going to do two OR gates. And, um... Are we? Nah, we'll do one. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay, so... Now we're gonna have to go outside for this one. Perfect, so that one's off, and then we'll get this one here. And get that one off, and then these two. I'm gonna turn off as well. Right? There we go, finally some silence. Okay, so we've got four engines hooked up. We've got some ramps. Um, I want to make a single push button for the front and uh, for the front controls, so that the the pilot and the co-pilot they can activate the ramp with just a single button rather than two. I'll leave it two back here because you know why not, and two up here. But uh, they they're just gonna have single buttons. So to do that, we're just gonna do some really simple stuff here, which is just uh, some timers. Of course, I don't have like any space here. Let's just, uh, let's just back up here and, and cut a hole. There we go. Now we've got some space. Okay, so we need some timers. Just like that. And some AND gates. And these will be like a half second delay. It basically what the timer does is it determines how fast you'll go between the two states. So you have a bit. And your bit has an on-off position, and uh, and then you have a single input for either one. So there's one input for there and one input for there. And uh, these inputs, this input hooks into those two, and this input hooks into these two, right? And then this goes to that timer, and this goes to that timer, this goes to that timer, and this goes to that timer, this goes to there, this goes to there, this goes to there, this goes to there. And if this timer's activated, you reset that one, and if this one's activated, you reset... Nope, wrong way. I'm an idiot. 
This timer's activated, you reset that one. This timer's activated, you reset that one. This timer's activated, you reset that one. And this one's activated, you reset that one. So, if we have a single button now hooked into either of these two OR gates, it will alternate. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, hold this. See, it'll alternate between opening the door and closing the door. It'll do that every half second, right? Because that's how we have this timer set. And then, same sense with the other one at the back. Yeah, see, it's alternating there back and forth as well. So that's good. So that allows your pilot and co-pilot to do everything with a single button. So now we can just go up to the top here and uh, put some buttons for some doors. And uh, I don't really know. You know what? We'll just, we'll just deal with this like this for now. I don't really care too much about the uh, particular order of controls just yet we'll deal with that after so we'll just go you know two and three for now and then two and three just to test everything make sure it all works and uh, one is hooked into that or gate for the landing gear i believe yes okay so one should retract our landing gear why does that not work why is that literally oh no it did work okay it's just slow gotcha okay good so one does work uh, and of course those back ones get stuck yeah no that's good Forgot to, forgot to leave my door open there. Okay, so we'll just uh, jump up in here. Come on, get up in there. Okay, perfect. Anybody lived in Florida scared about the hurricane? Yeah, uh, honestly, it's like ridiculous. The size of that hurricane is insane. And it's like the biggest hurricane to hit the Atlantic in ever. So that's kind of ridiculous. So if you are in Florida, I encourage you, please be careful. Because uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit crazy in there over the next couple days. Alright, so we've got that. Now let's uh, hit two. See, so two will toggle that. And then three will toggle the back, which I can't even tell. Yeah, so the back's down there. Perfect. Well, honestly, because we can't see the back, maybe we should put some lights in like the cockpit or something. Nah, I don't really like that, actually. It looks kind of cheesy. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should put some lights in the cockpit to let you know, like, when the back door's down? Or do you think I should just say, nah, screw it? I mean, you can always... You know, if you're sitting in the seat here, you can always just, you know, turn around and look, like, through it, right? So you can... You know, if I look through it... Oh, I just activated the landing gear. That was the wrong button. Now I can't get them back. But yeah, like, you can always just look through it, right? And just see, oh, okay, it's, it's open. And the side one, you can obviously see. I think it's fine. We'll, we'll just leave it. You guys, lights? Lights, please? Okay, everyone wants lights. All right, fine. We'll put lights in the cockpit. Um, okay. So I want them to be, like, visual. We'll do it there. Whoops, that's not the right color. Okay, and then if the back is, right now the back's down, which is this one, which is green. And if the back's up, it's red, which is that one, which is this one here, right? I, my goodness. All right, I think we're, we're, yeah, so green is down. And then if I hit, well, no, don't hit the landing gear button. Two, no, three. Yeah, two is that side door. All right, as so you know, we're doing good. We're doing good now. Okay, so now let's make this thing fly, seeing as how we haven't done literally anything. Except, you know, play around with controls. Okay. All right, so we need a lot of thrusters. Like, a, a lot of thrusters. Like, what the heck? Why is my mouse? What? What about my mouse? Hello, mouse. Can we can we work? Okay, so thrusters. Um, gonna need a lot of them. Gonna need like a whole heap of them. Um, 
pretty much gonna have to put them all up inside the cargo. I mean, I might... I could put them in the floor and be risky, but I don't know if the thing's gonna even fly if I keep all the thrusters in the floor, because it might have a real... a real stability problem. Because, like, you know, if you have all the thrust underneath it, you got a big weight on top, it's gonna be... Yeah, whatever, screw it, let's just do it that way, who cares? It'll be cool, because it'll be hidden. I mean, except you'll see the flames. Uh, no, I don't. I don't really want. It. I gotta put them up here. Can it drop a smaller plane at the back? It could. Eventually. All right, let's uh, let's just do some thrusters here. So let's just uh, let's just do something. Oh, that's okay. I just wanted one layer. Like, why did it cut out two? Did I screw something else up now? You know, okay, hold on, before we do this, because I actually haven't even saved this yet, which would be a terrible shame, because it's just so much work. Look at that, that looks cool. I know it looks a little bit stubby, but uh, I really wanted to have these massive wings compared to the size of the plane, because, you know, cargo planes do have massive wings. I mean, it might look a little bit, a little bit kind of chunky. Looks like it's, it may, might need to lose some weight or something. But anyways, alright, we're going to just save this. I'm not a very artistic person, but uh, it's going to be cool. By the way, guys, in case you're wondering, I know everyone, like, last week, they were wondering, I do have a plan for this plane. It's not just to make it fly. Um, I am going to put, eventually, and not in this stream, because, again, this is going to take me more time, but I am going to put an autopilot in this. So, ever since I did the blimp, a lot of people were asking me to do another autopilot-type thing, and uh, a lot of people were asking me to do an autopilot plane, and I thought, you know, an autopilot cargo plane would be cool, so, wouldn't it be awesome if we had an autopilot cargo plane where we could literally, you know, set it to autopilot, open up the back, and, like, jump or fly out the back, do whatever we want to do, and then come back to the cargo plane, and it's still sitting around the top of the map, just, you know, driving in circles or whatever. So, I am going to put a full autopilot on it. It is going to happen eventually, but uh, that is going to take some time for sure, and definitely won't be done in this stream. And god dang it, I screwed that up again. Did I patch that properly at least? So yeah, just in case you guys are wondering, that is the plan. I am going to put a massive uh, gyro in the front of it to allow the autopilot to have some controls. And uh, yeah, I don't like that. That's going to stay like that. Yeah, good. And uh, yeah, and then it'll fly around in a circle so you can get up to an altitude, set the autopilot, and boom, problem solved. But for now, for the stream, I just want to get it flying. And you got to go, Lane. Thanks for stopping in anyways. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy you guys stopping in and watching my streams. Alrighty. So we'll just uh, we'll just do this one up to here. I'm just kind of making a spot for the thrusters to go, so they'll kind of be like, you know, grooved into the wall. I, I do want to put them at the top, because these are going to be all the primary lift thrusters. I might put some of the control ones in the bottom. But uh, I definitely need a lot of thrusters in the top here. Make tanks or jeeps that detach and can't be used separate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm thinking of, you know, putting a couple jeeps or something in the back that uh, that I can weld or whatever. I'm not going to do any, like, what the heck, really? Did I cut a hole in it again? I'm not going to make anything new, per se. Like, I might just use my military Humvees or something like that and put them in the back. Um, I wouldn't mind having a small plane with, like, the wings. I think my biplane will fit in this, actually. I'm not even sure, but let's, let's go spawn my biplane from the blimp. Wouldn't that be hilarious? You take the blimp and you detach the biplane from the blimp right this is the the autopilot blimp and then you put it into the back of the cargo plane i don't know if this will fit though it might all right well apparently i spawned it in the exact same spot so here we go just rotate here i you know it might be a little wide yeah no that's it's it's totally not gonna fit so we definitely need a plane with with fold-up wings um it was close, though. So we'll, we'll have to do that eventually. Am I going to upload this to the workshop? Um, yes. Eventually. Not until I get the whole autopilot done, though. So it won't be, it won't be this stream. It won't be today. Uh, I'm going to work on the autopilot throughout the week next week. And I'll probably have it done sometime next week. And then I'll upload it when it's done. But it'll be a video when it's done. I'll make a video on the plane with the autopilot and all that. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So for now... Let's just put a ton of thrusters. So we need... I want to make this as, as realistically flying as I did the DC-3. 
And so the way I did that was I basically said, you have a bunch of thrusters. How many is that anyways? It's gonna need a lot. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's start with 15 on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I want to make this like the DC three. So the way the DC three controls worked is um, you had to be moving forward for the plane to go up. So it's gonna have a bunch of lift thrusters that'll activate and allow you to lift most of the weight of the plane. But the last little bit of thrust to lift you off the ground will only come when you enable forward thrust. So you have to be moving forward to fly, which is kind of like, I mean, it's not really realistic because the plane can still like from a, a starting point, it can just kind of go up at a 45 degree angle. But, you know, it's as realistic, I think, as you can get in scrap mechanic um, in terms of flight. Because in, in a real plane, obviously, you have to be going a certain speed before you can take off because you need airspeed over the wings. But uh, in scrap mechanic, we'll just make it so that most of the weight is absorbed right away, but then uh, you have to give it forward thrust to get that extra little move, little bit, which is what the biplane does actually too. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think that's all of them. All right, let's set all these to max and we'll hook them all up into a gate. This is going so good so far. So this is gonna be the day of just, you know, putting a lot of thrusters down and uh, breaking my fingers on the keyboard. But you know, other than that, we'll be pretty good. Oh, hello, hello. Okay, perfect. Make a World War II fighter plane with fold-up wings. Yeah, I could do that. Like, um, one of the, the F4U Corsair or whatever, I think, had fold-up wings. Um, it was it was the one with the little curved wings, so it could kind of skim on the water if it had to and land on the water, which was you know, a terrible idea because basically small planes versus water, um, water wins about 99% of the time, unless it's a pontoon plane. But uh, a normal plane trying to land on water, landing on its wings as a surface, usually doesn't work out too well. But the F4U Corsair was like that. I think the SBD uh, was like that as well. The two-seater American bomber. Um, I think there were a couple Japanese planes that did that too. I'm not sure though. But a lot of the Japanese planes, the same with like the British. Like the Spitfire was made of wood. But cool story about the Spitfire. Fun fact. The elliptical shape of the Spitfire wing, like the little oval shape, is like the most efficient wing shape in the entire world. You can look it up if you don't believe me, but it reduces drag like crazy. And there's a whole reason for it and everything else, but it is wicked cool. We learned when uh, when I took engineering at university, that was actually like one of the specific planes that we talked about in engineering was the Spitfire and how innovative the Spitfire was just because of that elliptical wing shape that no one else at the time was really doing. Um, so I thought that was kind of neat. You know, yeah, we're gonna put that there because then I can have less cables going everywhere else. All right, let's do, can I fit this? There we go. Just make that an ore gate. And uh, we'll put a switch here. So again, no idea how many thrusters this is gonna take to fly. I'm assuming a lot. All right, so one, two, three, four. This is the best part of scrap mechanic is just wiring up a million thrusters. And I know you could you could use modded thrusters or whatever and just have a couple, but uh, I do want to make this in pure vanilla. Could be worse though. I mean, for the the Hover City Airport, I had to wire up like like 502 thrusters. I think still the most thrusters I've ever used on a single build. So I'm just trying to do this to keep the connection tool like clean. So if you have the connection tool open in the plane, everything's kind of, you know, as low as it can be. I mean, obviously this stuff still, you know, comes through the floor a little bit, but just trying to avoid having a really ridiculous spider web for no reason. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Thruster in engines for pitch and roll. Yeah, actually, I could do that. That would be a good idea. Well, not for pitch, but for roll, it would make sense. Roll, you want it on the edge of the wings 100% because that'll give you the most the most stability, or the most control. Um, putting roll in the engines might help with that. Putting pitch, though, you want pitch at the very front here and at the very back there. All right, so let's wire up these guys now. 
stupid hole in the floor. I keep missing it because everything's brown and it's just a pain. Alright, so these guys are going to just put the same deal. Like this. And or gate. And I'm, I'm purposely hiding the gate because I don't want you to see this blue light up in the corner. I know you're going to see blue light coming off the thrusters, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. This is only like 60 thrusters total, though. I don't think this is enough to lift the whole behemoth of a plane. Maybe it is, and I'm an idiot, but we'll see. Just to be safe, I am going to put a seat down, and I will wire the switch that's got all these connected into the seat before I uh, before I try and uh, turn it on and see what it does. All right, so let's just put the seat down. Oh. There we go. Sorry, my nose is itchy today. All right, we'll do this and do that and do this and do that and do this and do that. All right, perfect. Have a Discord community build challenge for some stuff to go into the plane. I might, but the plane is, uh, it's going to have like a serious lag problem the more stuff I put into it, right? Then everyone keeps saying make the nose open. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a problem with lag. Not to mention it would be a lot of stuff. I want to, uh, plus I'm trying to make this more like a C-130 almost. Or like a Hercules. Rather than a, oh no, I hit the wrong button. Get back there, perfect. Like a C-130 or something. I don't want to necessarily make this, uh, okay, let's see. We got them all... Well, it definitely lifts some weight, but it doesn't, uh, it's not anywhere close yet. Okay, so let's just, uh... Oh, well, it, it would help if I had this hooked up, I guess, too, wouldn't it? Still, just lifting some weight, not actually getting it airborne. Alright, let's add five more to each side. And see what that does. One, two, three, four, five... Probably gonna have to double this up. But we shall see if this works or not. Okay, we got that, got that. Come on, one more. And then, then this, and then this, and then, nope, not work. Okay, I'm gonna like that. Whoops, that's not good. Okay, there we go. And then like this. Okay, and then... Nope, that's um, still wrong way. Yeah, no, don't want to do that. And like this, and like this, and like that. Perfect. And then like this. Okay, and then okay and then one more set still probably not gonna be anywhere close to enough but we'll find out I I did this totally the wrong way you should do it the other way because it's easier to tell which ones you've already s seen before because the blue lines only go so far all right Oh, that's getting closer. That's almost there. Close. We're getting closer. Okay, so let's do a few more. Uh, let's do another five on each, I guess. Pretty much, like, gonna meet these thrusters in the middle. That's insane. But that's okay, because the, the lift thrusters are really the most you need. Everything else is kind of whatever. Five, five. All right, let's see if we can get this thing up in the air on this set. And then if we can, I'll remove a couple and re-add them later to be used for the actual lift when you're moving. That's insane. All right. Hmm. 
This is definitely going to be a particles off kind of build because there's no there's no reason to have particles on for this. And then on top of that, like I mean, it, it probably isn't even going to render half the thrusters by the time we're done placing all the ones we need. So just the way it is. You should do a series where you make replicas of different planes. Moombo did, I think, but he doesn't seem. They don't seem to fly anymore. The proportions are a bit off, like the hump on his 747. Yeah, the um, he Moombo when he made a lot of his planes, he made them before Scrap Mechanic Devs did that thruster update. And so what I mean by the thruster update is thrusters used to be dependent on frame rate. The amount of thrust you would get out of a thruster depended on how many frames you had, which means everything you made that had any sort of lag to it behaved differently than you know something without lag. And uh, when the devs updated that, I don't know if Moombo went back and changed all his planes, but that's what you have to do. You have to go back and change everything and rebalance them because of the uh, the way the devs change the thrusters. All right, so that should be everything, right? Sweet. We have lift. Well, that's magical. All right, stream over. I'm done. That's all I needed to do. The plane flies. GG. That's all we needed. That's actually pretty sweet. It does dip forward a little bit. So it definitely needs some more weight in the front. This is going to suck. Sweet. Okay, so we'll take out one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So how's this now? Does it fly? Still barely lifts off. Okay, so we need to take out a few more. And then, you know, let's take out another two on the back as well, because I don't like the fact that it dipped forward. Yeah, so now it can't fly. Okay, good. So, that's the initial stuff. Those are going to be the two flying guys that'll help it fly. So, we'll paint these guys like blue or something. And then we'll put two more in the front. Actually, let's do three more in the front. Because I want to help balance the weight. And uh, this should help that. So these will only be active when you're actually moving forward. Otherwise, it won't it won't do anything. Right? Please keep... Oh, obviously, I'm playing. I'm not I'm not actually ending the stream. It was, it was a joke, guys. It was a joke. It was a joke, okay? You've flown a Piper Warrior 161 glass cockpit? That's awesome, dude. That's like the bubble cockpit, right? Where the whole thing... Like, you can see all the way around you, pretty much, except down. Then you got the two holes, like the two glass holes in the floor. I love planes, by the way. Like, planes are super cool. Alrighty, so, for throttle... Am I right, or am I wrong? Turn off particles. Yeah, okay, you're... Whoops, no, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, turn off particles. See? Yeah, okay. Um, now the question is, of course, how do I want to do the controls? So, A and D I have wired into steering, which I'll turn into yaw. So I'll need to do that. So I'm probably going to need just a boatload of thrusters to handle that stuff. The question is, how many is a boatload? Well, I don't really have room there either. Well, actually, maybe I do. Hold on. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four, five on each side to start. Okay, and then for now, let's just do a couple, couple different switches here. Okay, so this, so the main engine ignition guy, Majumner. Oh, but hold on, I'm wondering, do I even need... Because if I let off... Yeah, because if I... Yeah, so hold on, so here's the thing. So you want it... The, the reason... I'm, I'm just... I'm thinking out loud. Sorry, I'm thinking in my head, and I'm not actually explaining anything. But the reason I want the thrusters separated from the forward thrust is when you're going forward, it needs to lift up. But when you are let go of the forward throttle, I want it to start coming back down, which it should end up doing. So that's... 
how this is all gonna work. Okay, so this is gonna be another switch majumner guy. We're gonna run out of space for switches, but that's okay. Okay, so this, let's just reset this. So you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Okay, so one and one are gonna be the main throttle on, which currently does nothing, right? So, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so you're gonna go to here, and you're gonna go to here, and then you're gonna go to the back. Like that. I also realized, too, you're not going to be able to get up the staircase while it's moving because scrap mechanic physics don't let you go upstairs while stuff is moving. So that's going to be a problem. So we're going to have to change that. And uh, I think I know how I'm going to change this. And uh, we can do that pretty much right now. So let's just uh, remove this. And if I can get up here. I like the stairs because it's kind of cool and like almost authentic-ish, but uh, it's a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, and then just get rid of these stairs. Because, yeah, when, when the plane's actually moving around, you're not going to be able to... There's no way you'll get up those stairs. Because the way I, it happened on the blimp, too, you just can't really move on objects. Like, if you're doing that weird bouncing thing, it's kind of difficult, so... What we'll do is we'll just line this up like this. And uh, we'll just extend this all the way over, actually. Like that, because eventually we'll be sealing this whole thing off anyways. And then we need a four area like this. And then we'll do this. And I think that should do it. And this will just be on a simple, like, you know, two-switch system. So I'll have a switch there, which then goes to an XOR gate underneath here. Right, which then goes to that, and that goes to that. And then this will be, like, 15 on slow. And I think that should, should make it. I hope that makes it. Come on, get out of here. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit too slow. Oh, that's... You know, that that should be fine, though. One block short. Right? And then we can just... Right, get up in the... It kind of helps you see it, too. And then we can uh, put another switch here. All right, so you can come back on here and just, uh, just drop down. So that should... See how it does that weird, like, flying thing? Hopefully, and then, you know, I mean, worst case scenario, if we can't get up this tiny little lip here, we can always just, uh, you know, see one of the seats from here and just click E or something like that to get in it. And uh, we'll put, like, a comms panel over there eventually or something like that because normally these big planes have a couple more people than just two. Right? Perfect. Something like that. X8, X15 is my favorite, but it's not a passenger jet. Uh, the X15, is that that, like, X played thing the one that's basically a rocket that launches from a thing okay i'm not gonna lie though I'm, I'm not gonna lie there's always the the big debate is always between airbus and boeing right and uh, it's kind of like the nvidia amd debate which is you know which do you like amd or you know nvidia and in all honest opinion guys i'm not gonna lie I really prefer Boeing over over Airbus and it is you know just it has just I don't know everything to do with the way I, the planes are designed I just I like you know Airbus is a French company Boeing's an American company I'm not saying like American companies are better than French companies or anything like that I just like um, the way the Boeing designs their planes and I love the Dreamlifter like the Dreamlifter uh, not the Dreamlifter the is it Dreamlifter the 787 right the, the it's a uh, beautiful plane like beautiful carbon fiber wings got 27 feet of travel like amazing looking plane you're a rocket that's cool i i yeah i love the dreamlifter the 787 was a beautiful plane but then of course you know tons of other planes too like the mcdonald Douglas, like dc3 and stuff like the dc3 is an amazing plane it's the oldest prop plane that's still in service the guys up north still use it which is insane 
that you have a prop plane that's from the World War II era that's still flying around and they're literally like running out of parts for these planes, but they still fly because they're they just were built to last. Like these are 60 year old planes that are still flying around, no problem. I mean they're rickety old bolts and they, I'm sure they sound ridiculous when you're in them, but just amazing, amazing technology for the time. It's just cool stuff, guys. I love planes. Planes are planes are awesome. Do I like Indian tacos? What's an Indian taco? I'm assuming that's like some weird thing that I should know about and is probably like, you know, implied sexual or something like that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, of course I have control there. Okay, so we'll just do there. Is that right? Like that, goes like this, goes like this. Yeah, okay, that's good. And then these are gonna be all the steering thrusts in the back. Let's see if we can get yaw working here real quick. Okay, so that's that. So I don't want to wire these all the way to the front. So we're gonna just put a single gate down here. I'll we'll put another one here in case we need it. Nice music, thanks, man. It's all free songs to use from uh, proximity. Actually, if you search free songs to use in YouTube, then uh, you'll come up with them. They're kind of like no copyright sounds, but a little bit like more low key. Like no one really knows about them. And uh, they have a lot more music that has less lyrics, so that's kind of nice. But just a lot of, you know, like, house techno beats. I've actually, it's weird, I've been listening to a lot of Linkin Park at work. Because, like, you know, I'm just kind of tired with work. So, I've been listening to a lot of Linkin Park at work uh, really loudly. It's been kind of nice. Just kind of zone out, get the stuff I need to get done. And then, uh, you know, come home and work on YouTube stuff. Because uh, this is going to be my job soon, which is kind of weird to think about. But uh, yeah, my only job in two weeks is going to be doing YouTube. So I mean, it's going to be great. I, I can't wait to put out more content. Um, I, I love putting out content and I love seeing the reaction that you guys have to some of the stuff I do. Um, but again, it's just, it's a lot of work to do two things at the same time. So I, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait to, to have one job where all I do is work on YouTube videos all day and, uh, you know, and just help put out more and more content and uh different types of content too like still gaming content but i want to get into more games i do play a lot more than just scrap mechanic but uh again it's just finding the time to do all that okay so we gotta figure out which way is which so if i turn left left is left and right is right well that's convenient it's almost like i set this up properly before okay so left is left and right is right okay get out of here let's go down here so left is left, which means I need this one and I need the back. And then this one goes there. This one's going to go this opposite side here. And this one's going to go to that side. So... One activates all thrusters. Okay, you can see that. They're all kind of pulsing along. I don't even think that's anywhere close to the amount of thrusters we're going to need to turn. I don't know. We need this thing in the air, though, first. So hold on. Before we do that, let's just have this one switch activate. Oh, those extra ones aren't hooked up into anything. Okay, so we need them hooked up into something. So let's do that first. Um... Yeah. The reason I'm doing so many logic gates, in case you guys are wondering, is because I want to have the ability to make this whole thing autopilot enabled. And uh, to do it autopilot, you need to have the ability to control everything, right, without having the user control it. And so what I'm doing with all these OR gates is this is your user input, but then I can also have an autopilot input straight into that as well, and then I can control it that way. So for now, um, I don't really want to do that that way. Let's just put a fake gate here on the floor for now. And we'll just have this guy go into there, right? And then this guy will go into there. And this guy will go into there. 
Oh, we're lifting off. Okay, perfect. And then, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna... I just kind of want to keep everything organized a little bit. So then we'll put these at the back here. I still think we're lifting off, aren't we? A little bit. Barely. Like, it's barely lifting off. That's sweet. That's exactly what I want. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then we'll do this one to the front like that. And then this one over here. And then I need to grab it from the front. Grab, grab it from the front. What? Alright, and then we'll grab this. And bring this one to the back. Bring it from the front to the back. And uh, this is going to be a lot of running back and forth. You know, I love big builds because they look cool. But at the same point in time, I hate big builds because they're just a lot of like, you know, like laying out all these blocks took forever. And then laying out, you know, all the... Okay, so that's good. So we're, we're floating up here. We definitely need more thrust in the back. Yeah, it's, I'm turning full turn. It's not even, not even close to the amount of thrust we need to turn this thing. Let's bring her back down. Cool. Snap that landing gear back into place. Okay, so we need, like, at least, like, quadruple what I have. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Because that means for, like, everything. For, like, pitch controls, it's going to need a ton of thrusters. For, yeah, for steering, it's just going to need a ton of thrusters everywhere. And I don't really know if I can multi-purpose things. Ah, whatever. We'll just put more down. There's another, you know, ten. And then we'll go to the back and do the same thing. Now, these ones are underneath. Oh, we can do... This is perfect, actually. And that gives me just enough room to still walk in between them. Perfect. All right, it's good. Okay, so then we'll set all these. And these are all hooked in, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, that's just terrible. Perfect. All right, let's seal this up because I don't want to be able to get in the back here anymore. We'll uh, we'll get in up here. All right, and then we'll do all these. So that's like this. I I don't even know if this is gonna be enough. Hopefully it is. Then we can deal with roll controls and pitch controls. So this is all for yaw, obviously, to steer left and right. So let's just uh, wire this all up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Wow. That was a that was a very uh, violent message there, bud. Um, did you say H Cheney? Con, what's up, Kizza? How's it going? Kizza, you will enjoy it really. It can fly. No, it can't fly yet. HD Gamer 14, what's up, buddy? How much did you miss Nick plays? Well, you missed all that stuff. Thrusters, controls, spider webs, getting gnarly stuff going on. But yeah, it had, doesn't fly yet, so we're working on yaw controls. It hovers. I mean, it can take off, it can lift off the ground, but that's about it. Pretty much useless. Do you remember my suggestion for multiplayer Monday where it's a basketball, but you have to be able to pass between catapults? Yes, I thought about that. We also were talking about that, and we realized um, that'd probably be like impossible just because of the amount of multiplayer lag. You have to realize multiplayer Monday. The multiplayer lag is like the biggest 
inhibitor on anything like for example when we were trying to think about doing like you know a lot of people were asking for plane challenges it's like well a plane is great for you know whoever's host but everyone else just gets it really bad right so that's the the biggest issue with multiplayer monday so uh i i don't know what we're doing actually for multiplayer monday this week i think there's a few ideas that we've tossed around um there's a couple that i i like but we'll see all right so that's 20 thrusters now for forward and back let's go back up into our cockpit here yeah perfect okay let's just get off the ground again oh yeah that's much better I think I need a little bit more. I mean, it is a massive plane, don't get me wrong. Man, the autopilot on this is gonna be so smooth though because of the sheer size of it. It's just gonna be really, really smooth. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, perfect. Let's do a few more. On either end um, like another yeah let's just do another two just like that which means it'll be like four on either side so it hopefully it'll turn a little bit better okay and then we'll do this and then like this and then we'll go up oh yeah I gotta go back underneath here And do two more here. All right, just like that. And then another two here. Perfect. Please test it soon. I am testing it. Currently, it doesn't fly. Like, I have no forward thrust. If that's what you're wondering. Like, there's no... Oh, boy, I slipped. Yeah, I don't have any forward thrust. So there's nothing, like, nothing I can do about that. Um, yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. I think that'll be enough of a turning radius so that I won't hit the edge of the map. Because that's going to be the thing with the autopilot. Like, I'm literally just going to have the autopilot to constantly turn at a slight bank, kind of like it's doing right now. Oh, and then of course, see, this is the weird thing about thrusters. Then it hits some weird pocket of no collision and it just speed. Yeah, I know that's good enough. Okay, perfect. Just, yeah. Oh, scrap mechanic and your inconsistent physics. How I love it. All right, so that's that. Um, we'll leave that for now for testing purposes. So, ugh. Ugh, tired today. Okay, so what's next? So we got to do the one switch has to go. It goes to here. This also has to activate. Where's my engine? That's this guy. So this, I want you to activate these so that when we turn on the plane. All right, all four engines spool up. Again, it's not going to cause it to lift. That'll happen when we give it forward throttle. But for now, it's I have it set so that they all lift just so we can test the other controls first. So that's pretty cool. I'm very, pretty big fan of that. It looks sick. All right, we've got some movement. Frame rate's still okay. All right, now we need roll controls. So we're going to need two buttons for that. And a couple of ore gates, so we'll put the put the put the ore gates up in here. So we'll do one here and one here again, just wherever you know we feel like doing it. So that'll be roll left and roll right, and uh, we'll put some buttons up here for that. Roll left, roll right, roll left, roll right, two and three. I like having those as two and three. 
One turns on everything. Two and three will be roll left and roll right. Four and five will be pitch up, pitch down. Six can be like enable forward thrust because the, the forward thrust to move is just going to be a switch. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't want it on a switch. I'm thinking just one switch, you turn it on, the thing will start moving forward. And then roll left, roll right, pitch up, pitch down, steer is A and D. I mean, I could make it you hold W, but then it doesn't work for autopilot. So yeah, we'll have it on a switch. And then, yeah, so we can do that. And then we've got those two buttons, which are for the doors. So they'll be like all seven, eight, nine and stuff like that. Okay, so let's roll right, roll left. We'll need another logic gate here. This will be the XOR. You know what would be really cool? If Axolot made it so you could have one switch wired into two different seats. Like this button, for example. If I could go like this and like this. See see how you can't? Wouldn't that be great, though, if you could just have two different seats activating the same button? That would make all my life easier. Anyways, we'll go another switch here. And uh, this is just oodles of controls. Okay, and then uh, another two buttons. Oop, nope, not that. Another two buttons here. Okay, so two, three, four, five, and then four, five, and then six will be forward throttle, six will be forward throttle, and then seven will be landing here, and eight and nine will be the two doors. Perfect. So there we go. That'll be our, that'll be our plane. All right, so we've got two and three. So two is gonna be roll left, which is that guy down there, and three will be roll right, which is this guy here. And then two will be roll left again there, and three will be roll right. Okay, and then we'll do pitch up and pitch down as well. And we'll set those up real quick, might as well. So that'll be pitch down, and this will be pitch up. So four will be pitch down and whoops and five will be pitch up and four will be pitch down here and five will be pitch up there. Okay, cool. So that should be everything. So now we just need to add a boatload more thrusters. Yeah, you have three eighties visible from your window. That's freaking awesome, man. Yeah, if I want two seats on the same button, it's an OR gate, 100%. So you use OR gates if you want two buttons, but if you want a switch, you use an XOR, right? So here, if you use a, an OR gate with a switch, it doesn't work because then if one switch is on, they're both always on. But if you use an exclusive OR, then they become like little clicks. And uh, make the props spin, Mr. Noah. Boom shakalaka, the props do spin, right? Pretty cool stuff. All right, let's let's uh, let's do some stuff here. Okay, so we need a lot of roll control. And I, I kind of like the suggestion to put the roll controls in the engines, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hop up into these engines here. And currently, they're pretty much just empty. You can see there's just a, uh, a single, single thing in there. I don't know how much space we're going to have to put. Let's just delete that little piece for now. I can't even get in, really. There we go, okay. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. But we'll try it. I guess I could always fill the other engine as well. Oh, I have a gate here already, okay. Uh, then we'll do just an OR gate there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And then we'll do one, two, three, f whoops, f four. Oh, I don't have room for that. Shoot. Oh, no, I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is for the other direction of roll. Right, because you need to be able to roll in two directions. So we'll just do all four engines the same way. Like 
that. Okay. Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll, we'll patch that up after in case we have to go back in and adjust it. So we'll do the same on this guy. Yeah, make that jump. Okay, one, two. One, no, it was, it was, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we'll put this guy up here. Why does it seem like I screwed this up? Does that is that not laid out the same? I don't know. Let's let's just I think this is the exact same. I really should have thought of doing this before I like, you know, duplicated the engines and moved them, but anyways. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and this one will go to another switch here, like that. Okay. And again, problem solved. Whoops. What? There we go. Okay. The Meow Clan? What? Thanks for actually deleting them. Deleting what? What did I delete? Ah, oh, I see Hawk. Yes, Hawk is the champion. Do like two doors on the button to, on the bottom to drop things. Oh, like a bomber? Kind of. Make a Hummer that is specially made for this plane and the Hummer would be able to do a raft challenge like your one vid. Okay, well, I, I missed what the Hummer's supposed to be able to do. What's the Hummer supposed to be able to do? And the Hummer would be able to drop from a high height or build a supply drop that can be dropped at the back of the plane. Ah, yes. I'm going to do one of those two things. I don't know which yet. I have a Hummer already, but it's not it's not built specifically for this plane. Yeah, it's inside, outside, inside. Yeah, okay. They, they're identical. So up and down, and then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing, and then we'll hook them all up. So that'll be 16 thrusters on either side. So 32 total to roll, which might be enough because they have leverage on the wings, but it might not be. If not, we'll add a few more inside, but we'll see. Uh, of course. Ah. I have a problem, and it is that I am addicted to Red Bull. It's a serious, a serious health problem, because Red Bull is... A great pick-me-upper, but it's not exactly good for you. But uh, I like Red Bull. It's delicious stuff. Plus, after a long day of work, when you're tired, come home, drink some Red Bull, wake right back up, and uh, and talk for two hours. All right, let's uh, get these done here. Okay, perfect. And then... Was it? It was down on the inside, right? Yeah, down on the inside. So it's... It'll be a really cool day if the scrap mechanic devs add, like, aerodynamics or water. I'd be okay with either of those. I mean, water would definitely be cooler than aerodynamics to have in the game, but aerodynamics would be cool too. The thing is, if you can do water, you can do aerodynamics. They're pretty much like the same equations almost. I mean, a little bit different, I guess, but, um, you know, if you use a buoyancy equation for aerodynamics, it's close enough, right? But like, again, it's how do you, how do you map what's considered a, uh, flight surface versus what is considered just a blocky surface, or do you just have everything mapped as a flight surface, right? But then it means you could make a car that drives too fast and lifts off the ground accidentally. So there'd be, you know, a whole new level of things. But obviously it would, be, it would still be really cool. Um, I don't know. We'll see what they do. I'm very curious. I, I can't remember if they had said they were going to add water or not. But, uh, yeah, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, get all these ones. Holy cow. Okay, and then after this, we got to do pitch, and then 
Once we have pitch, then we should just have to do forward throttle, and then we should be good to go to fly this thing. And then I will be ending the stream there once we get the thing flying, because it takes way too long to make this thing have an autopilot. That's going to be a whole other objective. I'm not going to stream that, because the autopilot is just going to be a lot of testing. Uh, it's going to be a lot of, like, you know, back and forth and testing and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to just, you know, do that on my own and, uh... Yeah. Okay, so that's everything. Hey, Striker! Long time no see, Striker. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? It's, uh, it's been a while. Striker's currently working at the Smithsonian in Washington, I believe. Is that correct? Make a P-51 Mustang World War II plane. Cool thing about P-51, um, I don't know if you guys know about it, there's a thing called wa Wartime Emergency Power, or WEP. Um, basically what they do is they inject water into the cylinders on the engine to cool the cylinder down and push more horsepower. And uh, yeah, they, they'd pull like 1,200 to 1,600 horsepower out of these engines that weren't meant to do it, and then the engine would basically explode, but it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, they do that to really get that extra boost. It was amazing. Okay, so... That's roll left. This is roll right. Roll left means down on the left and up on the right. So it means down on the left and down on the left and up on the right. Up on the right. Uh, I don't know which control that was. Which, which, which one? No, that, not that one. Da down on the left. Oh, this one. Okay. Up on the right. Okay. And then roll right is the op. This is a, getting to be a real pain. You can almost walk right under this, by the way. It's, it's pretty close. It's one block too, too short, but. Okay. So then this one is opposite. So this one's up on the left and down on the right up and up okay and then the other way and down over here and that one should be the last one and then we'll test to see if this works the roll controls if not we'll have to add more okay so that's good okay Alrighty, we're getting there. Just a boatload of thrusters in this plane. You love my channel, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Emperor Panda 09. I really appreciate that. Uh, and I will. I'm going to, uh, in case you guys haven't heard, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard enough of now, but uh, I am going to be quitting my job very soon. In uh, two weeks, actually, is my last day. Next on Friday, the September 22nd, is my last day. And then uh, this will be my full-time job. So I'll be I'll be making YouTube videos. I'll be doing daily content, which will be great. Hopefully I can get a Red Bull sponsorship, which you can't even read. I'm drinking the new Red Bull uh, Green Edition. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Red Bull gives you wings, unlike this plane and scrap mechanic. All right, let's see what this does. So, one, we're up there, and, um... Oh, yeah, that's great. That's actually really good. Two and three. Look at that. That's actually solid. That's, that's... I don't want to have, like, really fast controls on this for a couple reasons. One, the autopilot has to be, you know, relatively smooth. And two, I don't want to, you know, have this plane fly unrealistic compared to a size of a cargo plane. But look at that. That's got great roll controls. I can turn and roll into the turn. And uh, if we deploy the gear, that's six, I think. No, which one? Five? No, six, seven. Which one's the landing gear button? What is that? That's not the right one. Okay, seven. Is it seven? No, six. Which one? Which one is the, the six was supposed to be throttle? Seven. 
Yeah, there we go. Seven. Okay, so see now landing gear up. Uh, eight. Flick that and nine. There we go, right? So now we've got a sort of a cargo plane that doesn't really go anywhere. We're definitely going to need more up thrust for sure, though, because it's not going to it's not going to have enough to lift off. Although it is neutrally buoyant, which is kind of cool. This is sweet. I'm really happy with this, actually. This, this turned out great so far. All right, let's do some pitch controls, shall we? So uh, let's just hit seven there. Deploy the gear, let them lock, and then hit one and let it kind of... Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's good. No, perfect. Just break the whole front assembly. All right, good. Okay. It's weird. The plane gets some random bouts of lag, and then it'll settle and go away. Like, right now it's 20 FPS, but then it'll, it'll just... Let's just put this down. Uh, what? Did you actually just... What? Why are you stuck? Huh? Well, that's new. Okay. So much for that working out. Okay, let's just, let's just put this whole thing on a lift. I might have slammed into the ground too hard. I might have to edit that a little bit. It might just be um, too narrow. Really? It might just be too narrow of a tolerance or something. Let's let's see if this works. If not, I'll, I'll just edit that. Okay, up. Okay, it looks good. Now down. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't work before. It might have gotten jammed or something. I don't know. Whatever. All right, so that's that. So we've got. Yaw and roll. Hit it with a hammer. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know how hitting it with a hammer is gonna work. No, I know, I could delete the first row of the door. I was thinking about that, but then you'll have that little like thin line gap in the top. And I'm not I'm not a really big fan of having that. Okay, time to do pitch. Pitch controls. So we just need a lot of thrusters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, that should be plenty for pitch up. Oh boy, I'm gonna need so many more thrusters than that. Because it needs everything you do needs to be doubled. If I do 20, what have I got for turning? I got 20, so it's 40 till. Yeah, I need that many. Okay. Okay, and then uh, the other. Yeah, let's just let's just move this. You know, let's just rearrange this a little bit. The problem is I'm not going to really have a lot of room in the back for pitch thrusters. Because ideally you want ones in the... Okay, let's, you know, let's go to the... How much room do we have in the bag? Not much, eh? Well, okay, actually, no, that's not true. We got some room back here. For some up stuff. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six seven and then we'll do another seven here one whoops one two three four five six seven so that'll be like one direction of pitch this will be pitched down so that makes 14 total in the back And then I should be able to put, like, pitch up coming out of the floor or something. Alright, so then let's wire these guys into... You know, we're gonna cut a hole in the floor again here. Alright, so we're gonna do that. I think...
All right, let's change that up a little bit. Let's change to something a little bit different, shall we? Let's go to like, bam. Perfect. How long is the stream now? The stream is now at an hour and 30 minutes. And uh, we've done it in another 15 or so. I just want to get this thing flying, right? So we'll see how long that takes. But I do want to, I want to try and get this thing flying. Okay, so that'll be pitch in one direction. That'll be pitch down. I don't think that's enough, though, to do it on its own. Okay, so pitch down is this one. We'll try it. Like, I, I'm gonna, that's 14 thrusters, but I don't think that's anywhere enough. Okay, that's up. Actually, that is enough. I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a pitch in the other, we have a helicopter plane. That's actually more than enough. That's great. 14. So I only need 14 in the front then, too. Hmm. Okay. Sure. No. Let me, let me, let me go. That's actually, that's actually great. I could just use 14 in the back, and then I'll put 14 in the front here. So it's, like, relatively even. So we'll just go, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, that's not good. That's going to interfere. Let's do it over here, actually. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Today on Con Gaming, we learn counting. Actually, I want this. Uh, do I? Yeah. Do I want it going through another? Yeah, I'm going to put it through another gate so all the response times are even. So we'll just go like here. Let's put a gate right here. This should do, and then this should be good for pitch, and then you can go connect there to there. And then we just need a boatload of forward thrust, and we should be good to go. And I'll actually, I'm going to patch up the engines now, because the roll is fixed. Okay, so let's try this real quick. Five pitches forward, and four pitches backwards. Oh yeah, that's great. We can for sure flip this thing 100%. Oh yeah, totally. Perfect. That's great. Oh, that's exactly what I want to be able to do. That's good. So that'll be enough. That'll be enough pitch uh, for sure. Amazing how little pitch you need compared to the weight. I think what it comes down to is the amount of weight forward to back, and because the wings are sideways, you need so much more to like roll it because of the amount of momentum, let's call it inertia, as it would be called in real life, that it would need. Um, I almost sounded like Trump there. That was bad. The Russians, nuclear weapons. Have you heard of them? But yeah, like it, it, I think it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so we just need a, a boatload of forward thrust now. And we'll just disable that. So that's gonna be primary one, primary two. Whoops. Don't make fun of your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got no, I got no more comments on uh, our good old comrade. Okay, so I think now if I activate one, it activates thrust and it activates those, but you can see it doesn't get us off the ground. So that's where the forward throttle is going to play in. And the forward, forward, the forward throttle is, no, the forward throttle is this one, six, right? Yeah, so this guy. So you're going to go to this guy, and that means forward thrust. So then you need to go to the blues. Blues. 
blue and the other blue way at the back we're actually almost about ready to see this thing fly hopefully no idea if it's gonna actually behave like a real plane i hope it does it should come close but we'll see and then you go back to the other blue okay and like that okay perfect Yo, Can, sup, sup, Dan, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Dan H is your new name, Flying Potato Cannon, Purple Cow, pretty much, I bet you won't read this, I bet you I did, uh, it's gonna, someone's gonna screenshot that, eh, if, if you guys screenshot a face of me, like anything of me, if you ever screenshot it, cause I know you guys do, please tweet me, it's, I love it, it's hilarious, I won't, I promise. What are you promising to, Striker? Oh, you're you're saying you're not going to read his thing too? Yeah, well, I read it now, so damn, where's your reply? Come on. Come on. What's up, gamer? Ryan, how's it going? Crow Fireson, the crazy nubs, Team Boeing, 100%. Jude Olsen, Bacon Man, Ash Silver, Rexy Boy, Gamer, 2000. A Danik, Danik Roll? I hope I said that right. Mario, what's up, buddy? Buck Teeth, I have Buck Teeth? I don't think I have buck teeth. My girlfriend says I don't have buck teeth, guys. I'm just saying. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I do have buck teeth and I just haven't known it this whole time. What are you doing? Oh, here comes the kitty. Yeah, no, it's just gonna... It's great. All right, let's put some forward thrust up in this biznatch and make her move. Um... Yeah, it's gonna need a lot of forward thrust. I kinda just wanna put it all underneath here too. Oh yeah, right, I was gonna patch the engines. I totally got distracted there by all the chat. What's up, boys, the noise, boys, the noise. That's a weird, interesting name. I don't know, how do you guys come up with these names, honestly? Isaiah, you've been here since the start. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. I honestly, you guys are you guys are the best. You know, my first stream, I had like three viewers and like one of them was me. It was amazing. Those are the, those are the glory days. If you guys haven't seen my first stream and you want to see like super amounts of cringe, um, I didn't actually have face cam back then, but I made a hover bus. Yeah, I became known as the king of hovercraft on Scrap Mechanic for a while there because I did the whole, you know, hover city thing. But uh, you should see my hover bus. It was whew, the skills, the skills, guys. Let me tell you, the, the the amount of stuff I just did completely wrong was amazing. You guys want to? I actually I still have that. Have you guys seen that hover bus? This thing's the best. Um, so I made a hover tank in like ten minutes, and this hover bus. I don't even know if I have it anymore. Oh, I totally do. This was my this was my hover bus, guys. Look at look at look at look at how amazing this thing looks look, look at that look isn't that isn't that the most magical it doesn't even hover anymore like it just it, this is again that whole thrusters used to work different thing look at look at how glorious this bus is yeah it was it was just great this is fantastic now we're building a flipping cargo plane and we started with that like it's it's amazing. I never thought I'd spend as much time playing this game as I have and I'm glad I have because there's so many cool things You can still do like I, I still have so many ideas on stuff to do right. I was fixing the engines again getting distracted here With all the wrong things Okay, we'll go like this and go like this and like yes, okay problem solved I'm gonna leave the back of the engines open because uh, I'm gonna paint the inside eventually like all black on the inside and stuff and it'll all blend in but the back of engines uh these are these would be like standard i guess these wouldn't really be turbo fan engines they'd be more like prop engines you could make a turbo fan engine but uh right so thrusters forward thrust that's what we, that's what we were doing we were doing something useful let's just rip out the floor for now let's just look, get out of my way All right, we'll do that. I don't know how many thrusters I'm going to need, but it's going to be probably a lot. Oh, okay, we're already at the landing gear, so that's not good. Don't want to go into the landing gear there. Okay, so one, two. 
Actually, we should rip out more flooring. Uh, okay, we'll start here. That's good. That looks, that looks glorious. Okay, so we'll start here. So we'll go one, two, like this. And then one, two, like that. And uh, one, two, like that. And then across, like this. Right? And then we'll go one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is good because we can leave this three in the middle so you can walk still through the undercarriage. We'll put like a hatch in the front or something eventually so you can, you know, access the undercarriage if you need to look at stuff. All right, we'll do this. One. So I think I'm going to add four rows of thrusters initially. And uh, we'll see how that does. Although, to be honest, I should probably put some towards the back. Because I have a feeling this is going to cause it to pitch up constantly. Although, you know what? If it pitches up constantly, we'll just put some downward thrust in the front here that activates only when you have the forward thrust going, and that'll force it back down. So we'll be fine. Never mind. Forget it. Forget I said anything. Don't worry about it, guys. We're good. Because the thrust... The reason why is the thrust at the bottom of the center of mass. So technically speaking, it sh it'll probably end up pitching up, but that's okay. Alright, we're good. One more. And then we should be flying. And then, yeah, and then we'll crank all these up. This looks sweet. You want me to make a train? Yes, okay, so train is... I, I do have an idea to make a train. I know a lot of people have been asking me to make a piston-powered locomotive. Um, so I do want to do that at some point in time as well. Um, definitely been a project I've thought about. Because it would be really cool to have a piston-powered locomotive with some old-school rail cars and stuff. But I just haven't gotten around to it, guys. Like I said, I've been really, really busy with my work. Um, but again, that's almost over. Just two weeks left, and then that'll be done. So, uh, you know, we're gonna... I'm just kind of pushing through the last couple weeks of real life. And then uh, YouTube becomes my real life. Hey, kitty! Are you caught in my chair again? You are... Uh, can you come help her? Hey, she's stuck. I can't get her out. Okay, you wanna come you wanna come see people? Well, no, you're gonna... no. Yeah, the cat the cat got stuck in my chair. She kinda does that a lot. Where she uh she claws into the back of my chair, which is like, you know, that plastic leather crap. And then uh, she gets stuck and then starts freaking out because she can't, you know, get down because she's basically hanging off her one paw and uh, starts freaking out. So usually you have to get off the chair and then, you know, pick up the cat and let her free herself. But uh, I can't do that very easily from this angle. So I just uh, got the girlfriend to do that. But yeah, it's kind of funny. She does it way too often too. But anyways... Yeah, I know, and she doesn't know how to retract her hooked claws. That's the problem. Yeah. All right, so there is a boatload of thrust, and then we'll connect them to this guy, which is the forward thrust guy. All right, and then we'll put our floor back in. Oops. All right, this should be this should be it. I think we we might be good to go here. All right, so actually, hold on. I wanna I wanna seal this up too because I am gonna do that eventually. I'm just the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to add as much weight as like you know I'm reasonably gonna have on the plane, and then we'll just do a, like a little doorway here. Pretty much just like that. And uh, we'll put a hatch in the front here. Just to get into the bottom. Oh, this is like right at the landing gear. Okay, well that's not that's not good at all. The hatch will have to be up here somewhere then. Although to be honest, I think we can just yeah, you know what, we can Oh, so close. 
Let's put the hatch right, right next to that for now or something. We'll put it over here. Still can't do it. Really? There we go. Okay, so that'll be our little, like, you know, get in and out kind of hatch. Just like that. Okay, let's try flying this thing. Alright, so. Uh, system check. Eight. Oh, no, that was the wrong, uh, that was the wrong, that was the wrong button. I, I screwed up. Come on, come on, lift that. There we go. Okay, so one turns on the majority of stuff. Okay, one turns on stuff, so that turns on- oh, I got a seat on the side of the plane. Let's- let's go get rid of the seat. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so one turns on the main thrusters. Uh, the back is still down from that light, we can tell, plus that- Nala, get out, please. Hey. Nala. <sighs> My cat's a troll. Like, flat up, the cat's a troll. Nala. She's gonna unplug the power. I'm gonna grab her. She likes to stand on my power bar, which is just great, because then she unplugs stuff. Come here. I do, and she takes it out of the way. Come here. Hey. Oh my god, she's caught in the curtain behind my desk. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. This cat, I swear to god. Hi, are you okay? You're just freaking out? Come here. Let go. Come on out. No, other way. Come on out this way. Come on. More out that way and unplug every- oh my god. What are you doing? This cat, I swear to god, guys. This, this cat. Nala's like, will you pet me now? Oh my god, this cat. This cat. I swear to god. I swear to god. I don't... Where are you? Come here. No, you come here. Oh boy. This cat. This is the... This is the cat. This cat here. <laughs> this this one. The black cat. Yeah, she she just... Oh you, 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 no, your, your camera's shy now. She's such a, she's such a poop head. Really. What a ridiculous cat. Alright, let's just fix that there. She literally jumps on my power bar and then tries to unplug everything. Yeah, so that's my cat. Um, very frustrating to deal with. Alright, so, uh, we've gotten the cat out of the plane now. Um, so systems check there. And then nine sent up there. Um, yeah, nine, deploy that. Uh, yeah, that's good. No, we can turn. Okay. So, I think six is forward. That's not bad, actually. It doesn't really want to pitch up much at all. Okay, that's good. And then, uh, what's the, what's that, what's the landing gear? Six, no, six is, six is forward. See, and then you can see when we let off six, it'll slowly drop back down to the ground. But because that one thrust, the one button that keeps the engine spinning, keeps the th like a little bit of the thrust up, it kind of flies nice and smooth. So six, uh, seven. Yeah, seven's the gear. Okay, good. And then uh, pitch up. Yeah, we definitely need more forward thrust because it doesn't have enough. And now I can't even pitch down. Uh-oh. Okay, so I need more pitch down, and I need more forward. Pitch up is not a problem, because the forward is helping it pitch up. Can we do a loop, even? No, we can't. We totally... Oh my god, it can loop. That's amazing. Alright, so we need a few a few extra things here. Okay, so hold on. Let's go to seven. No, that's, that's perfect. Seven. No. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Seven. Are you serious? Get out of there, landing gear. 
Sometimes you just gotta drop the whole plane down. Oh, crap. Okay, I, I still had six on there. I need an indicator. So if six is on, six is which one? That's this middle guy here. So that one, I'm going to activate the motors as well. So if you have six on, you can tell that you're still moving forward because your props will still be spinning. There we go. So if you have one or six, the props will start spinning. Because otherwise you're, like, see if you're accelerating across the ground with six now. See, we can, we can drive and we can turn. But it won't lift off, right? So that's, that's pretty much the way it goes. Perfect. All right, so that's good. Let's get down here. Okay, so we need more pitch down, which is the back stuff. We're, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. This thing's going to fly, and uh, I'm going to be super excited about it. Okay. I don't really know where to put extra thrusters. Yeah, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to... I don't really want to double that up. You know what? Let's just put more in the front aiming down to help the pitch down. Okay, so let's do that instead. That's probably a better idea. So we'll do like there and like how many, how many, well, which one's pitched down? Pitch down is this one, right? No, this one. No, that one's, that one's pitch up. This one's pitch, this one's pitch down. Okay, so we'll do. I still need room for a gyro in here. This should be actually enough room. Okay, so let's just pitch down. Oh, no, that was not good. Didn't want to delete that. Let's leave that back there. Okay, uh... Nala, out. If all of a sudden my stream cuts out, guarantee it's the cat unplugged my power to my computer. Just saying. Because she's a poopy head. Yeah, you are a poopy head. Oh my god, are you actually not going to come out from there? Serious? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh boy. Come here. Yeah, no, come here. No, come here. You're going to sit with me for a bit. Because uh, we're going to sit, you're going to sit with me until the stream's done. Because then I don't have to worry about you unplugging my computer when the stream's done. Yeah. All right, here's my kitty, once again. Yeah. Anyone heard of the Hyperloop? Yes, the Hyperloop is awesome. The Hyperloop is, uh, that's that uh, thing that Elon Musk is working on to shoot uh, basically a train, but not really a train. It's like a vacuum tube. Like, you know when you go to the hardware store and you see those like tubes that go shooting up into the ceiling and stuff? It's basically like that, but underground and for bigger things. It's a pretty cool idea. All right, so that's four for pitch down. So hopefully that'll help the old pitch down thing. It's because the when you have the thrust for forward enabled, because it's all under the floor, it's helping it go up. Um, and so it needs more on the pitch down side of things. So let's try this here. Okay, uh, one. Yes, nine. Eight. Nine close that okay are we all closed up in the back we are okay uh six okay we're moving forward yeah that pitch down still sucks i'm holding pitch down and it's barely pitching down okay so we still need more on that love how the front landing gear just kind of implodes no it's this it's great this is great. Okay, let's just... There we go. No. Get up there. Get... Son of a... Perfect. Okay. Ooh, that was... Okay, let's put this on a lift. It just started getting really laggy for some reason. I don't know why. Well, I mean, other than the fact that it's a giant cargo plane and scrap mechanic, but... Alright, let's do that on the lift good 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 okay we need way more pitch control pitch up is great because like i said pitch up it's working with the forward thrust everything's fine and dandy um to 
just do more on the old pitch down side of things. And then another two here. Then I think we should be good to go if I can get this pitch control figured out. I want to try flying the thing. All right. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go up. No, uh, eight, nine. So see, we can actually taxi if we use six, right? And we can kind of like click six on and off to kind of turn here. And then when we want to actually take off, we can just, you know, pitch, pitch up with four and then hit one. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better now. Definitely needs way more forward thrust though. It is it is slow for the size of plane it is. Then we can turn. Turn's great though. Yeah, you can see those thrusters. You know what? I might need to actually. Yeah, that pitch pitch up needs some work for sure. Or pitch down, I mean. Yeah, we are we are moving really really slow. But can we we can walk around though? I don't know what's going on. Actually, you know, it doesn't move that slow, but it moves it moves slow enough where it's like, you know what? I want it to I want it to go faster. Let's just lower this ramp here. That's so awesome. All right, yeah, we definitely need a little bit more thrust. So let's put another row of forward thrusters and let's put a little bit more on the pitch control, but I'm actually gonna wire um, the last little bit on the pitch control into the forward thrust as well to kind of keep that nose down on purpose because it's the forward thrust that's causing all the issue, 100%. Um, so let's go do that real quick. So let's do one more row of these guys. Just like this. Okay, and then we'll do this, 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 this. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Nope. Crap. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this. This will be the final little bit. Okay, and then other other side as well. So this should be this should be good, I think. I mean, this is going to be. Yeah, and then of course, as always, I'm I'm late for multiplayer Monday, but that's okay. I mean, no one really cares about about those guys, anyways. They can wait. They're probably all sitting there in team speak, like, "Oh man, Khan is always late for multiplayer Monday." Um, okay, so that's that, and then we need some extra downward thrust for when the throttle is turned on, and that'll be these four, and hopefully they'll be enough to counter the throttle, which is, is this the throttle? Did I screw up and connect the pitch? controls to the floor no that's the blues yeah okay i'm not an idiot okay whoo thought i was an idiot there for a second wait well actually i probably am but anyways all right let's do that do that do that okay so that should be everything all right let's try flying this thing one more time and uh, let's see where i don't know where the edge of the map is Yeah, so that activates that, which activates those forward thrusters. They're downward thrusters in the front. So 9 will raise the back up. And 8 will raise that side door. Alright, so let's go 6. And then let's go 1. And then let's go 4. And we'll pitch up. And then 7. And we'll raise the landing gear. Perfect. And then let's do a nice little climb here. 
Oh, this is great. It actually kind of does fly like a real plane. You can't climb too fast or else it can't actually go up anymore. Pitch down works good. This is good. And then we'll just turn. Oh, I'm totally up against a wall. Totally, totally, totally in the wall. That's, that's, that's great. All right, you know what? We got to do, we got to do one thing then. Let's, uh, let's save this here. Cargo. Really? Cargo plane. Perfect. All right. So let's go real quick here. New game, creative, uh, blah, 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 whatever. Just to test it. And then if this works, then I'm going to end the stream. So I got to go record good old multiplayer Monday. As always, I'm nice and late for everybody. Um, right. So we'll just spawn ourselves the good old Brent Batch Flyer. As I call the ridiculous scooter. Um, yeah, and we'll just go to the edge of the map here. I the only reason I like the terrain map is it's just it's a little bit easier to see, obviously, where the edges of the map are, and uh, you know looks nicer. It's, it's gonna be a pain to find a runway area big enough for this thing, but anyways, cargo plane, cargo. Yeah, that's what I thought. Finding a space is gonna be the biggest problem. See if we can do this here. Alrighty. Come on. Come on, spawn somewhere. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. So let's drop that. The front landing gear just collapsed. There we go. It's because we're on this stupid hill. There's no flat space here. All right, let's get back up into the cockpit. And let's go nine, which raises that back ramp up. Eight raises that. Nope. Seven raise. No, I didn't want to raise the landing gear. Crap. Six raises that. Nope. Eight raises that. Okay, there we go. All right, let's just hit six and then hit one and then pitch up right away. This is actually great. And then seven deploys those landing gear. Oh, perfect. You can just turn there. Pitch down a little bit while turning. I definitely, I definitely think I need a little bit more forward thrust still, but uh, I might deal with that later depending on... I want to get an autopilot hooked into this thing first because once you get the autopilot and the gyro with auto stabilization and all sorts of stuff then it'll it's just going to change everything so the auto stabilization is going to only allow you to pitch up so much and uh you know and only go so fast and all that so i really want to get the autopilot in it but uh we do have a flying cargo plane now definitely a big big plane i think it's the biggest plane i've ever made in scrap mechanic that's for sure but it's pretty much lag free which is nice but definitely definitely needs a little bit more throttle there but uh overall i'm pretty happy with this build so uh make sure you guys Put your comments down below what you guys think of the build, obviously, and uh, put down what kind of color scheme you guys want. I, I really don't know. I'm debating between, like, a gray and just a flat gray, but that's kind of boring. But uh, let me know in the comments down below when the uh, when the stream gets uploaded, obviously. It'll become a video relatively quickly. And uh, let me know in the comments what kind of color scheme. And, uh, you know, if I, I'm obviously going to speed it up and then put an autopilot on as well. But I'm going to do that off stream. So uh, make sure you guys hit up those comments section. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button for more cool stuff. Um, you know, I always do cool scrap mechanic stuff. And you can see there, this is where the autopilot is going to correct this kind of thing. So it'll automatically keep the plane level and uh, auto roll it and all that. And uh, I'll set it up similar to the blimp. But that's going to be a whole other set of controls. Um, so, you know, you can't have the plane strafing sideways, but, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. I had the forward thrust turned off. That was part of the problem. All right, let's see if we can land this thing here real quick, and then I'm going to end the stream. So let's just turn this way. Okay, and pitch down. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is, uh, Con Airlines, uh, cargo plane, um... Something rather. We're gonna uh, we're gonna put her uh, put her down here real quick. We're gonna deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Perfect. Landing gear locked. All right. We're gonna uh, come down here. 
So you can just hit six and that'll cut your forward throttle. But then you can see the plane starts dipping. Oh, dipping too much. Let's turn on six there again. Give ourselves a little bit more throttle. Okay, we're coming in good. We're coming in good. There's a tree. Tree in the wrong... Oh, boy. How does this look in first person anyways, I wonder? Awesome. Totally cool. Okay, uh, we're going to hit that tree. Uh, Houston, we're going to hit the tree. Houston, Houston's tree. Front landing gear just gone. Oh, uh, yeah. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Right, so anyways, guys, obviously a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, still needs to be done with the autopilot and that sort of thing, but I guarantee you when I, this does come out in a video and on the workshop, it'll be a little bit more awesome. So make sure you guys hit up those buttons down below, and uh, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I really had a lot of fun, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye!